Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm going to take a look at another upgrade kit for DNA Design that is creating it for next year. And then what I'm actually going to take a look is this. This is the up DNA Design DK33 upgrade kits for, well, for some reason it's a war for Cybertron, but it actually, now this one is releasing from the Legacy series, Generation Selects, Lord Sarah. And holy crap, this is amazing. Now this upgrade kit is just a straight repaint of Earthrise Scorponok, which I think I already took a look at it. Probably not. I don't remember. If I didn't, well, I'm sorry, okay? But wait, where's number 32? Yeah, to be honest with you, I don't know where the hell is number 32 at, but yeah. Um... So like I said, this is just going to be a straight repaint of Scorpinox, so yeah. So if you guys already seen the last video I did for the DNA design, go ahead and check it out. So here it is, all the contents right here that DNA design gave us. And of course, everything is just a straight repaint, but now we got in red, gold, gunmetal gray, black, silver, hints of purple, and the hints of light blue. And holy crap, that also looks amazingly badass. And right off the back, here is the original figure right here, and here it is what the upgrade kits right here. Notice the differences between these two, of course, with the cannons, the extended legs, and pretty much that's it. Nothing changed on the arms. So yeah, I still want to get the Lord Sarek figure. It looks amazingly really good. Now the original figure will comes with, of course, is the figure and the staff. But now with the upgrade kits, wait, does it come with this? Okay, does not comes with the sword, and the original figure comes with the uh, his sword, his staff right here. But when you had the upgrade kits, and now you have him with the blaster and the shield. If you guys remember the original, um, the original Lord Serac from the Generation One, that figure has the gold plastic syndrome, but this figure right here does not have gold plastic syndrome. That's pretty cool. And of course, right off the bat, DNA design just showing off like some possibility. The looks of it with the weapons, the legs extension right here looks amazingly well. This looks badass. Like, holy crap. I actually want this. I actually want to get this figure with the upgrade kits. On his beast mode right here, you can see his blaster is the is the stinger of the scorpion. Uh, the shield piece right here disconnected to transform into the part of the pincers right here. Well, the part of the pencil right here. And of course, with the cannons, you put two right there, two right there to give it more firepower. It does have some hinge and some swivels right here that you can see. Even with the base mode right here, the part of the gun disconnected right here and it'll become like that. That looks amazingly well what DNA design is, that created it for. And here, this was everything, what it looks like right here. This box is pretty thick. And all the contents, what comes with the inside of it, looks amazingly well. I actually, I actually want to get this upgrade kit because of the shade of gold they have and plus the figure. And next to it, the box is not taller. Is well, of course, side by side of it, of course, Lord Sarek is taller than this, than the box. So yeah, this box is pretty cool. And that pretty much that's it with all the content that comes with. But what do you guys think about this upgrade kit that the Legacy Lord Stark figure is coming out for next year? Make sure to leave a comment down below. And also, you guys like the video what I did on the, uh, the upgrade kits for the Studio Series Devastator, of course, because of the um, enemy scrotum, the Wrecking Balls, so yeah. Which I want to say thank you guys for, for that. Thank you for giving me a lot of views for that video. Holy crap. I know I'm going to get a bunch of dislikes. Well, right now I'm getting a bunch of dislikes. So, yeah. And besides, we're, we're in the end of 2021. So, yeah. I'm probably going to upload it probably into January or February because of my laziness. And plus my bull crap. Same thing with the other videos that I'm working on also. And, yeah, that pretty much that's it. Anyways, guys, I'm going to end this right here. So, have fun. Stay safe. And, as always, I'm out.